This is Griffin, an African gray parrot. What matter? Wood, good parrot. When Griffin talks, does he mimic Ooh. sounds or consciously make words? What matter is this? Whoa, good birdie. Comparative psychologist Irene Pepperberg believes African greys like Griffin know what they're talking about. They understand things like colors and shapes and number concepts and concepts of bigger and smaller and same and different, things that we never felt that an animal could do. These birds are showing us it's possible. Well, color bigger. Good boy. Pepperberg studies the cognitive and communicative abilities in African greys. You like your yellow corn. She says the birds have the social skills of a two-year-old mm -hmm. and the intelligence of a five-year-old. What matter? Paper. Paper, good birdie. Talking with the birds means simplifying language down to mother ease. Instead of asking what something is made of, she'll ask. What matter? What matter? Cork. Cork, good parrot. Pepperberg studies Griffin's ability to identify partially obscured shapes. In the wild, we expect these birds to be able to do that because if you see part of a predator, you want to respond as though it's an entire predator. What shape? What shape, Rose? Corner. That's right. How many corners? How many corners, Rose? How many? Four. Good birdie. When testing, she's cautious. What color? Making sure she doesn't send subtle cues to the bird. We have control for that so many times. We have different people training versus people testing. What color smaller? Orange. Orange is right, good boy. Pepperberg says her work talking with birds has benefits for humans. We've used these training techniques with autistic children to help learn speech, learn communication skills, and they do learn. What shape? Corner. It's safe to say that in this lab, the term bird brain won't ruffle anyone's feathers. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.